Wow, Ryan Garcia predicts Logan Paul knocks out Floyd Mayweather in their exhibition tomorrow. Not only that, he's reappearing, resurfaced on Twitch, doing the body shot challenge. All this after pulling out of a Javier Fortuna fight, saying he was going through mental woes. We're about to talk about all that and more in this here video. Stay tuned. I'm on Logan. How does Logan all look to you right now? The way it's strong. He's going to knock him out. He's going to knock him out. Ryan, what's next for you? I get him for Ryan, what's your prediction? Ryan. Got Logan Paul by knockout. What round? Eight rounds. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. Listen, if you love what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button. I drop the illest content in boxing. This is your one-stop shop, all things boxing. Get your news here, views, pre- and post-fight breakdowns, etc. Now, you guys heard the clip at the beginning. Ryan Garcia is in Miami for the... Let me change this picture ASAP. He is in Miami for the Logan Paul Mayweather exhibition. Not not a big deal. Like, you know, you've seen a lot of celebrities turn out. Adrian Broner. Ah, oh, man, you know, AB, algebra books. But the reason why it's a bit peculiar for Ryan seeing him step out a little bit more than the other celebrities that you see in attendance for Mayweather Paul is the mere fact that Ryan Garcia is in a recent, you know, eyebrow raising situation so ryan garcia in this particular post a week after announcing he was fighting he pulled out of a fight now this was against a fighter named javier fortuna very rugged guy he has some good names on his resume like robert easter you can argue that he beat robert easter you know things like that but ryan pulling out of the javier fortuna fight he says that he had mental um, anxiety or health issues regarding his mental and his mental status and how he was feeling so the world became too much the sky is falling whatever and he pulled out of the fight now if you're feeling like that you know this is a, a dangerous sport so I would suggest you know I guess you have to take that take care of that but the problem and somebody should really talk to Ryan Garcia is You've already amassed this following. You got people, 8 million plus people watching you, uh, following your career and things like that. And boxing is an unforgiving sport. And the thing where I feel somebody should talk to Ryan Garcia is because he's putting himself in the position to constantly be criticized, right? And if you are a person who is experiencing this mental anguish and it's upsetting to you and you get anxiety and stuff like that it just seems common sense that you would stay away from maybe people or things that you know probably won't be received well so listen it's an exhibition mayweather paul almost everybody in the world is picking floyd mayweather to beat logan paul and they don't see how logan paul wins Somehow, some way, Ryan Garcia, because he's friends with the Paul brothers, Logan and Jake, he's picking Floyd to get knocked out by Logan Paul. Now, I guess we'll have to find out tomorrow, but putting stuff like this on record when it seems to be such a steep hill, it just seems like Ryan just puts this unnecessary weird pressure on himself. And this is just the string of recent events since he's come back now coincidentally golden boy announced that joseph jojo diaz another golden boy fighter was going to step in and face javier fortuna because ryan wasn't feeling well right and ryan has resurfaced conveniently after fortuna got booked up these are just things that no matter who you you are if you're being real with yourself you have to admit they don't look good Ryan is frequently having to delete his post, and this is all man-made. There was a post right after this where he proclaimed he was fighting Manny Pacquiao, a fight we know is not happening. Errol Spence is fighting Manny Pacquiao. 
He also proclaimed he would knock out Javante Davis in two rounds. And then a week later, two weeks later, he says, I'm fighting Pacquiao again, which is not happening. And he left Javante Davis conversation alone. He said, I got a bigger fight than Javante Davis. Davis got to wait because I'm fighting Pacquiao and I can't pass up this opportunity. And Davis and his team, Mayweather Promotions, Al Heyman, Showtime, Steven Espinoza, they move on with Tank's career. Now he's on pay-per-view fighting Mario Barrios, right? So you can see these things begin to add up. You, you told us you were fighting Pacquiao. Cap. You said you're fighting Davis and you would knock him out in two rounds. You even told this to Mike Tyson, legendary uh, Mike Tyson. You know, I'm, th I'm so flabbergasted. I'm so happy. I'm th hey, Tank, Tank. Ryan said he's going to... You, you said this to the great Mike Tyson that you were going to body tank in two rounds. Fight's not happening because of you, right? Because of your side, because of your team. So when you say you're going to fight Javier Fortuna, most people, including myself, said, hey, that's a great fight, but that's a super dangerous fight for Ryan Garcia. You pull out of the fight. And this is only a week after the fight was announced. You don't pull out. To me, it would have been better if Ryan was going through this stuff mentally. See, I think they try to reinvent the wheel, and that's what messed Ryan Garcia up. I don't think Golden Boy and WBC, they are working in cahoots. They didn't want Ryan to fight Javier Fortuna. That's what I truly believe. So they use Ryan's, like, because he has talked about having anxiety and stuff in the past, and they used it, and they were trying to something new, if you will. But it only made the fans, like, enraged because they thought they were going to get a good fight. And a lot of people didn't believe Ryan Garcia. They didn't believe the, the mental anguish and the mental woes. And with this recent string of behavior, it's really hard to, to believe that that's the true story. So they came up with this. They reinvented the wheel and said, oh, you know, Ryan Garcia, mentally, he has to take care of himself like that. And here's the thing. Even if you believe the mental health scare and Ryan was like unstable and going through too much, his behavior is so bizarre after it would seem like the people in his corner, the people that love him, the people that, you know, are on his team or family or whatever would say, yo, chill. You just pulled out of a major fight where everyone knew it was a dangerous fight. And if you got to put yourself back together, Humpty Dumpty style and deal with your mental issues, maybe just chill. But days later, you know, he's posting pictures with his girl in Hawaii and he's like, Chihuahua! And he looks like just regular Ryan Garcia. Okay, whatever. Some people can mask their pain and, and things like that. Then he start popping out. And as soon as Javier Fortuna got booked up with um, Joseph Jojo Diaz, as I mentioned earlier, he keep popping back out. He was, the day Devin Haney beat Jorge Linares in a masterful performance, he's trying to roast Devin Haney, right? Because Devin Haney did get hurt at the end of the 10th round in the final 10 seconds. You know, it got clipped. Legs did a funny dance. Ryan Garcia took this opportunity to, I guess, try to kick a man while he was down. And ish on the performance, he said, I'm sorry, Dev, but I would have KO'd you. I would have slept you. And people looked at that and they're like, yo, wow. How is he talking trash if he just pulled out of his Javier Fortuna fight? Not a good look. And then now he's picking the every Logan Paul's like a hundred to one underdog or something crazy in the exhibition. That's who he's picking. So listen, it's kind of hard to feel guilty for Ryan, who keeps continuing to put it. If you if you really are someone who can't deal with pressure and stress, and, it, and to the point where you had to pull out of a fight, which is something I've never seen or heard a fighter doing. No matter, there's fighter Jared Hurd is on the card tomorrow. His father just passed away. Tony Harrison just fought on PBC. Another black fighter just fought on PBC. His father just passed away. Buster Douglas, weeks before the Mike Tyson infamous upset, his mom passed away, right? Ryan Garcia, God willing, um, none of these things that we know publicly, anything that supreme has happened to him. Like, you know, the death of an immediate family member or something or a lover, you know, none of these things have happened. And you're having difficulties already embracing celebrity dumb and, you know, and the stardom and the it's just a bad look. And then now you're trying to like trash talk Devin Haney. It, it just doesn't look good. It, it, I don't think those world those worlds are synonymous. You can't pull out of a fight that's dangerous and then pop back out and say, oh, Devin, I would have KO'd you, would have slept you. 
and back trash talk and now you're back in logan paul it just doesn't look good people in addition he recently did an appearance on this guy's twitch which you guys will see and he brought his body shot challenge stuff right and he's hitting the dude he's hitting the dude all on the um body shot challenge and trying to fold him and stuff just like the ryan that we've always seen you know and it's like so you on Twitch doing the body shot challenge and laughing and chuckle house and things like that, but you're not fighting Javier Fortuna. You're the mandatory for Devin Haney and you're not fighting him. You you make it out to the Mayweather Logan Paul fight and you oh Logan, it's just somebody should really get in the in the ear of Ryan Garcia because from where I'm standing, these things don't look good. And people want to see that Ryan is taking on challenges and taking his career seriously. Ryan also told Devin Haney, who he's the mandatory for that fighter, right? And he should be fighting Devin Haney. On top of him saying he'll knock out Devin Haney, even though he didn't fight Lenatas, who he was supposed to fight, or Devin Haney, who he's the mandatory for, or Javier Fortuna, right? Despite all this, Ryan Garcia is on record saying he doesn't respect Devin Haney because he played his career politically and he's out here fighting the Lou Campbells and the Javier Fortunas and going after Tank. And he said all this, this hit list of names that he was going to go after. But the only person he really and truly fought wasn't Tank, wasn't uh, Fortuna, even though he wanted credit for it. The person he, he has actually fought is only Lou Campbell, a British fighter who lost all his other big fights. But... All in all, this is just a bad look to me. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Use my link in the description to get TubeBuddy, an awesome browser extension to help you level up your YouTube content, make your content more discoverable, searchable, and easier for people to find and search, in turn making you more money like yours truly. I've been using TubeBuddy for years. It can definitely help you too. Drop your thoughts in the comments. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.